Hello, uh, welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and put some drainage into our uh, alignment or roadway that we created in uh, previous steps. So go to Home tab, and uh, from Home tab, come all the way down to Pipe Network, and uh, click the drop-down uh, menu right there, and you see five different options. The first option says Pipe Network Creation Tool. Click that one. And that will bring you to another window. In this window, listen, name the network. Uh, we're going to call it drainage to run number one. So I'm going to say dr-1. And then I'm going to come down here. This says uh, network park list. And click down on drop down uh, menu right there. And you have a, a three uh, option. Normally, in uh, it depends where you are and what kind of program you have. You might have a lot more options than this one. So we have a sanitary sewer. No, we're not, we're not doing that. We're doing drainage. Then you go down all the way to storm sewer. So click storm sewer. And once that's done, go below it and click the layers. We're going to set the layers. This is important. you got to do this. So now this uh, second window where it opens up in a uh, uh, layer right here, pipe plan layer. And click the edit button next to it. And you see another window open up. In this window, you can go ahead and... Uh, and where it says modifier hit the drop down menu and go to suffix and right here modifier value put dash n for new or you can put dash p for uh, proposed click ok and now you can see the dash n right here let's do that for all of them all the way down here so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over and over again click suffix and dash new okay do the third one and pick six and and let's see the fourth one fix dash and and finally the last one I'm gonna go ahead um, do the same thing here it's suffix dash n <clears throat> excuse me and hit okay now uh okay and get out of here and come back to the second wind our window surface neck we only have one surface in here we created this surface i'm going to click my surface right there root 200 and i mean yeah and then uh, i have two different alignment i'm going to pick one of them i'm going to go ahead and pick alignment uh uh 200 again and now here come down here's a structural label uh, click down and drop down menu and these are really a lot of good important things here I'm very impressed with this um, uh, CAD program it does a lot of design for you so now here it says that data with connected pipe is sanitary click that one and then uh, the pipe label style I'm gonna go ahead and drop down you can uh, practice with these options different options and you find out what they are anyway so click here it says profile uh, plan length description and slope I'm gonna select that one then I'm gonna click OK then you will have this window opens up and what we try to do here we want to try to uh, uh, create a pipe and catch basin in our uh, alignment and what I mean by pipe and catch basin you, I'm sure you've seen that in the road all the time here it is we got a, a Touch basin in the street, and then you put a pipe in, and then we're going to put some head wall afterward. So that's what we're trying to do. Uh, going back in here, before we start here, I want to let's check, uh, click on view, and, and here toolbar, click uh, civil, and make sure the transparency command is checked. Then come back here, and right here, take a look at this and familiarize yourself with all this stuff. If we click down this. Uh, middle drop down menu right here this is for our structure and our network layout for drainage dr1 that's what it is and we did all this stuff already so we're going to come in here and click drop down menu and the, depending what you have on your computer for the uh, cat 7 3d there should be a lot more options than here what i have this is just for the educational purpose downloaded uh, uh from my and uh, I'm going to come and pick a catch basin. So I'm going to come out down here, pick a rectangular structure, two tier. And I only have one option for four foot catch basin. And 
there should be a lot more options uh, maybe on your computer so now when you click the credit structure and I'm gonna come over here click the pipe again there should be more option here I only have like for bunch of stuff I'm gonna click the concrete pipe and I, I you gotta be careful when you pick up your catch basin what is the maximum size can fit into that basin and here we're gonna use 18 inch well that will fit there the program is pretty smart it can identify that for you and now you're gonna come back here the next one over here click right there and you see structure insertion point that make sure that's checked and the next one over is really important make sure you have a pipe and structure check all right now uh, kind of because cat has a, a way of freezing on you kind of go ahead and uh, before you start go where you want your pipe and catch basin here and let me go ahead and you know make a little blur yeah, of course freezing on you right now should have done this a little bit ahead of a time anyway so i'm going to go ahead uh, that's good enough i'm going to come up here and make sure my uh, pipe and structure is connected all right i'm going to come in here and start from one of these stations on the right side i'm going to put a catch basin in here wait for until it's ready for you okay you right here go another about a couple hundred feet go across and put a basin on the other side of the roadway come up uh, another uh, couple hundred feet for a basin there and eventually uh, come back here go across and see I want to put a head wall so don't click yet because if you click you're gonna put a structure there uh, while you're in command go back up here and change your structure right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a concrete a rectangular head wall and click that and then come back where I was going to go and click it right there and hit escape a couple times and this is my pipe structure and what I like about this let's look at one of these um, um, notes and they give us this a structure tool our second catch basin at station 48 the offset is 38.04 when you do this if you have an exact offset and where you want to put stuff you can go ahead and type those in or you can uh, manually uh, move your mouse where you want it and here's what I like. It gives you the rim elevation, that's top of your frame on a catch basin. And it gives you sump uh, elevation, which is bottom of the uh, uh, part of the, 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 the first part of your catch basin, because this is, in our case, is a uh, uh, two tier. And then you have an inward elevation, the pipe that the water goes in. And in the same structure, you have a also invert out elevation, the pipe that the water goes out. And I believe if you look at the pipe itself, um, in here it will give you the uh uh you pick the other one up right here it will tell you how long the pipe is and it tell you what the uh, uh slope of the pipe is numbers are mixed we can clean this up a little later on so now it's hard to see the pipe itself because it's the color uh now go ahead and select the uh for your uh, one of your structure that we have and we find it first um Right here, I'm going to select on my structure. See it right there. So click on it. Oh, it's once it's selected. Yeah, right click your mouse and go down, hit select similar. That uh, select all the structure on, uh, on this uh, drainage ran number one that you just did. So let's do the same thing for the pipe. I'm going to go ahead, click on the pipe. And once it's selected, I'm going to right click and hit similar, select similar. So now all the pipe in this drainage run have been selected here they are i think we left out the uh head wall in the end head wall or this we can go find the head wall right here it's here someplace there it is right there it's hard to see so click that and now everything is selected and while you're there we will click right click it and go to the object viewer see if you can see it in 3d okay it's over here let me bring it up and there's your object viewer and uh Let's see from a different angle. Here's your pipe right there. 3D. Nothing to it. You all and have a good day.